What's up YouTube, Friend Ranger, I hope you're doing good and I'm super excited today for vlog number 32 actually. It's been a while since I've posted a video but today my bag here is coming with me to California next week and it's full of Fuji goodness and I'm gonna share that with you in just a few seconds. So as many of you know, I was a Nikon shooter and I was enjoying it. But when I was traveling with my gear, my back was hurting. I was, you know, with all these big lenses and stuff like that. So if you follow the vlog, you know that I've switched to Fuji. And you know that now I'm happy with that system. It has its flaws and it's not perfect. But one thing that I really, really appreciate is the weight and the actual small factor of this uh, system. So starting off with uh, the bag. As many of you know, I was a Nikon shooter. I used to bring a super heavy and super big bag when I was traveling. Well, no more because now I have this pack safe bag and the Fuji system that's in it. And let's start with the bag actually because I think that this is one of the coolest bag on the market right now. Because if you travel a lot, pack safe, this is the Z16 uh, model, and this is completely anti-thief. So basically, what you get is a very solid bag, but also lots of little thing that, that makes it very secure when you travel. You know, you don't have to worry about someone trying to unzip uh, your bag because there's actually a little latch here, a little lock, and it actually locks your zippers down like that. So it's, it's pretty, pretty cool, very well thought bag. There's even an RFID, you know, uh, protection in it and it's also very very hard to uh, cut you know with scissors and stuff like that so when you travel this I cannot you know uh, uh, recommend enough pack safe they made some kick-ass product so let's get into the bag what's in that pack safe bag that I just talked about well let's start with the little pouch here and again very well designed bag really like this bag but let's start here with some you know some of the micmacs here um, this is really cool because I will be able to charge my Fujifilm batteries in the car. And we're planning on going to uh, Yosemite Park and also Napa Valley. So it might come handy uh, to be able to charge our devices in the car. And that was the first time that I, that I saw that, uh, that system. A um, couple thingy here, I mean, obviously iPhone cables. Uh, a splitter for USB to get more USB ports on my MacBook. Uh, and isn't that the cutest USB key? Like I know we're, we, we don't use USB key anymore, but Fuji gave me that one, and uh, I think I'm I think I'm gonna bring it everywhere I go. It's actually you know I think it's like 16 gig or something like that. So pretty cool X Pro 2 little uh, USB stick right here. Uh, so bringing that with me. Uh, also charger for the laptop, obviously. This is this might come handy. You never know when you're gonna be able to, uh, or actually when you're not going to have light, uh, and you're gonna be. Uh, able to use your flashlight. Um, this is a really cool, another um, gift from Fuji Canada. Thank you, Fuji Canada. Uh, and this is a soft cable release. So basically, if I want to do long exposure, old school, you know, like, I can use that and actually press the shutter, the shutter, and it actually uh, doesn't move the camera. So that's really cool for long exposure. Planning on using that, uh, obviously, in San Francisco. And uh, notebook. Always have a small. This is a this is a small moleskin, but always have a notebook. You know, I, I, I always like to take notes of the locations that I like, um, what were my settings sometimes, or some ideas that are coming up in my head and I, that I just don't want to lose. So that's there. Um, microfiber cloth. I mean, you, you need to have that obviously to clean your lenses and your cameras. What else? What else? This is the really cool RFID pouch. So pretty cool. I'm gonna show it here. So if you look here, um, this section is actually protected from anyone to scan it and actually steal your you know, passport information or your credit card information. So again, very well thought for um, travelers like, like me. And the PackSafe actually comes with a microfiber cloth, so that, that's pretty cool. Um, pen, of course, if you want to be able to write your stuff, and that also works with the, the iPad. Um, this is a very cool little uh, battery, not so little actually, but it's from Aki. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it uh, correctly, but this is the um, 2,000 uh, milliampers, sorry, 20,000 milliampers, and there's actually two USB ports where I can charge a phone and a tablet, and it, you know, really, really fast because it has, uh, they call it the IO technology or something like that, but it charges phones and tablets very fast, and there's, I think, also 
a little flashlight on it. There you go, flashlight. Uh, not, not planning on using that function. Though. So that's my battery pack. So this is everything that's in the little pouch here. And when you go here, so this is the thing about this bag that I really like. So it doesn't look like it fits a lot, but look at that. So I'm, I'm, I'm opening here the first little section and let's unzip it. iPad. iPad fits right here or you can actually put some magazines if you're uh, the type of guy who reads magazine on planes. I, I, I tend to, to read all my stuff on the iPad and it's an iPad 2 uh, Air. iPad Air 2, 2 Air, whatever. So that's that light, nice little pouch here. And again, very secure because you zip it and then you clip it and then people cannot, you know, just unzip it and steal your stuff. On to the main compartment. Main compartment is also pretty cool because uh, it's really where the anti teeth uh, stuff happens. So there's a lock mechanism. So if you can see here, where you just secure the zippers and then you unlock it and then you can actually unzip the whole thing to access your gear. There you go. So opening up the main section. So of course, look at that here, organization, lots of batteries. I mean, if you have a mirrorless system, of course, you'll need some batteries. So I have actually three batteries, uh, four batteries actually. One is in the camera itself, and I think I'll be good with, with four batteries, you know, fully charged every, uh, every night. Uh, and again, this is where the BM Premium uh, system comes in, where I can charge the batteries even in the car. So that, that, that's pretty, pretty cool. Okay, so more cool stuff. This little thingy. I uh, recommend having that in your bag. It's a Swiss uh, knife uh, type of tool for your electronics to charge anything you want on the go. Very small, fits in the bag. And I actually got that one at uh, Best Buy. I think they think they gave it to me. Uh, so that's cool. And this is a little Mac uh, AC adapter that you can actually hack your Fuji um, charger with. So you don't have to bring the full cable. So I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Speaking of which, the first little charger here, this is the BM Premium, and it doesn't have a long cable. It's actually, you can just plug it right here in the wall, but also you can use it with the cigarette uh, lighter adapter right here in your car. How cool is that? I, I, I love that uh, option. Love to have that option. So then on to the real, charger which is a bit bigger and here's the hack here's the hack so you, you know the Fuji charger comes with a long cable uh, but now you can actually just use this here which is again a little Apple adapter that you get with your you know charger uh, for your MacBook Pro or your MacBook Air or whatever Mac you have and then yeah it becomes just a wall charger like that so nice little hack that you should do so on to more cool stuff in the bag, what do we have? I'm bringing actually a flash and look at this little uh, flash system. This is the i40 from Nissan and it works perfectly well with the Fuji uh, system, with the TTL uh, system, not remotely, but actually when it's on it, uh, you can uh, definitely use the TTL function of your camera and your flash. So highly recommend this flash. I know you guys asked me for a review of that flash. I'll be able to do one shortly, but right now it's uh, a little bit busy. So that's the flash, lands and cap, of course. And look at that, this bag, this little bag fits my MacBook Air that I like to travel with because it's light, because it's powerful, and I can actually edit photos on the go. So bringing uh, the MacBook Air in this little bag here. Well, let's move on with the camera stuff because this is what we wanna see, right? So in the bag, Again, very well designed where you get the main act here, which is the Fuji X Pro 2. And I mean, I cannot say enough good things about the Fuji X Pro 2. You, you guys, you know, I've seen my uh, uh, first impression, uh, but I've been shooting like crazy with it. And it's just one of the greatest system that I've ever tested, including Nikon. Again, I love Nikon, but look at that. I mean, this will be every time with me everywhere in California, very small uh, system. And uh, this is the 35 mil uh, two, F2. 
So this is this is going to be my, my all around lens. I mean, this is the equivalent of a of a 50 mil. Uh, so good for street portraits. Good for also you know you can even shoot landscape if you want a bit. It's a bit uh, long, but uh, I have other lens too. So that that's my main um, camera that I'll bring. Main system. Very happy about that. And let's look at lenses. Let's go into the lenses uh, pouches. And oh, this is the 16 millimeter 1.4. Love that lens. That lens, if you don't have it in your bag, you should actually go straight to the camera store and buy the Fuji, um, Fuji non 16 millimeter. It doesn't distort, you know, as much as the wide angle lens that I've uh, tested in the past uh, with other brands. And it also very, 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 very sharp. Uh, and also it gives you, you know, a nice perspective and a nice uh, angle. I just love the 16 millimeter, um, you know, focal length. But that's what I'm, I'm bringing for sure. On to another lens in my bag and look at this gorgeous lens here. This is the 56 millimeter 1.2. Uh, love that lens. It's a little bit slower to focus than, you know, let's say the 16, but uh, the quality of the bokeh, uh, the actual uh, color rendition, it's it's seriously one of the one of the best lenses I have in my bag, and it's the equivalent of an 85 millimeter. So for portraits, this is the ideal portrait lens. I highly recommend it. I'm bringing it with me because planning on taking a lot of portraits, and with 1.2 uh, f 1.2, I can do some low light shit uh, like there's no tomorrow. So that's the lens I'm bringing, and I think there's another lens. Like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. That lens here. This is the 10 to 24 zoom lens but it's a wide angle zoom lens. Uh, I think you have to have a, a wide angle zoom lens when you travel because you never know when you're gonna get that shot, you know, with the bridge and the, you know, fog and everything. And you wanna get, you know, a lot of stuff in the scene. And this is an F4 lens, but it's stabilized. Um, so again, very, very uh, good lens. I cannot uh, recommend it uh, enough. And uh, of course, I mean, uh, having 10, being able to go to 10, and to 24 again. This is crop sensor, but um, this is, uh, of course, one of my one of my favorite lens when I travel. So this is my this is my kit. The, look at that. This is this is fairly small if you compare it to my last video that, I'll, that I'll link right here, um, where I was bringing all my Nikon gear with the 70 to 200, the 24 to 70, the 14 to 24, and there you go. This is my kit. Uh, I'm not bringing the 50 to 140 because this is a bit heavy, a bit long, and again, my goal is to travel light and I think this will do the job. So there you have it guys, this is my uh, uh, kit for the upcoming trip to California, to San Francisco, to Napa Valley, to Yosemite Park, and I think I've done a good job of you know, reducing the size of my kit. If you uh, look at the video that I posted a couple years ago, it was ridiculously heavy and big, uh, my Nikon gear, and I ended up not necessarily using it a lot, and ended up shooting more, most of my shots with the Fuji X100, the first one that actually came out. So if you have any questions about the gear I'm bringing, if you actually have a suggestion, am I missing something? Um, I think I have enough stuff, but hey, let's engage the conversation. You can ask questions below. You can ask for a review on any of the stuff that's on the table. And I wish you luck, be happy, enjoy life, and enjoy your gear. Cheers. Mm -hmm.